Doing a daily skincare routine is not my thing, bro. I'm a man. I don't do makeup. And besides, I haven't got the time to do it anyways. Bullshit. Invest in your skin. It is going to represent you for a very long time. And surprisingly enough, investing as less as 5 minutes a day can really make a huge difference in how your skin looks and how you feel. Because of course you're going to feel better if you look better and your looks start with your skin. And do bear in mind this is not a beginner skincare routine that implies you to wash your face like 2 times a day and that's it. With that said. Let's start with cleansing. Now this is the most important step because it not only sets the foundation for any skincare routine, it also preps the skin for the next steps and products. And washing the face is really simple. Most products just require you to wet your face with water, then place a small amount of product onto your fingertips, rub your hands together a few times to activate the leather. Then work your hands all over your face in circles, everywhere for about 30 seconds working the product into the skin, using the pads of your fingers to rub. After you're done, splash all over with water and grab a towel to pat, not rub, the skin until it's like 80-90% dry. As slightly damp skin is ideal for the next step. And any product is going to absorb and work better on the skin if all the pores are open and clean. And as for the face wash itself, you can use whatever works the best for you. You don't have to be brand loyal at all so you're really free to choose. And of course I'm under an obligation to tell you to use a sulfate free face wash. Not because how good they are but because everyone says so. But I won't because I've been using this Beardo charcoal face wash and it works really well for me. Of course it does give me that dry skin feeling after a while but so does any other sulfate free face wash. But something I've noticed is that I get a lot less acne when I'm using the Ustra Neem and Charcoal face wash and that one by the way is sulfate free so if your skin is acne prone you might be interested in that one. But with that your skin is now prepped for the next step. Now as soon as he is done washing his face, Anu would definitely go for a moisturizer and call it a day. But you my man are not Anu because I won't let you be one, at least not in the hair and skincare department. So what you need to do is, you need to grab a really good face serum. Now if you're not into skincare that much, there's a really good chance that a face serum is not already in your skincare routine. Which is really bad because a face serum can prove to be the most important product in a skincare routine. And if you wanna up your game by a big time, face serum is the way to go. Because this product has the ability to travel deep into the skin and moisturize it from the inside. An ability that a regular moisturizer lacks. And if you pair both the things together, you're giving your skin all the moisture that it requires from the inside out. Now if you've never used a face serum before and you're wondering which brand you should go with, I'd recommend you go with the brand from which your moisturizer is. Because two products are going to work better together if they are from the same brand as they are meant and made to work together. And if you've never even used a moisturizer before, man were you living under a rock or something? But anyways, do go with the brand from which your face washes and decide your face serum in accordance with your skin concern because there are different available for different concerns such as dry skin, acne prone skin, oily skin and all that stuff. Now mention must be given to the fact that a face serum can never replace a moisturizer because it simply can't. And if you wash your face and apply only a face serum, it is most likely to feel dry after a while so do not replace the moisturizer with a face serum, use both of them together. Now as for the product itself, I've been using the coffee face serum from the man company. And I've also tried the M caffeine face serum, both of them work really well, no complaints at all. So these things usually come in a scientific looking dropper bottle. And some people like to put a few drops from the pipette onto their fingertips and then apply it after rubbing them together. But I like to pour the drops directly on the face and apply it in swiping motions across the forehead and then from the bridge of the nose outward towards the cheeks. 
But while the face serum is finding its way inside the skin, you should really take care of your eyes or rather the skin underneath the eyes. This is the thinnest part of the skin on the face aside from the lips, which means you need to be particularly gentle here. And therefore, you need to use a dedicated eye cream as these things are really good at tackling dryness, puffiness or dark circles. And whatever the product is, the application is the same. Place a small amount of the product onto the pad of your ring finger. Then press your other ring finger against it to distribute the formula evenly on both the hands. Now tap the ring fingers along the outsides of your eyes and bring them inward, continuing the tapping until the product is mostly absorbed. And you need to use the ring finger here because of how delicate this part of the skin is. And to do that, I've been using the Mama Earth Under Eye Cream lately. And this thing is not particularly good at its job. And the thing is, I don't really like Mama Earth as a brand and that is the reason I decided to give this thing a shot to see if I was wrong. But unfortunately, I wasn't. And the results are in front of you. I've been using this thing for at least a month on a regular basis and I've still got dark circles. But anyways, if you're looking to buy an under eye cream, I'd recommend you go with The Man Company or Beardo. Both of them are really good in this department. But by the time you're done applying an under eye cream, the face serum would have completely absorbed into the skin. So now it is time to layer it with a good moisturizer. And now you can be fancy about it. You can do two moisturizers, one for the morning that contains SPF and one for the night that has anti-aging properties so that it is constantly repairing your skin while you're asleep. But currently I'm only using one that has got like nine different things built in it. And again, you can rub it in your palms first and then apply it to the face. But I like to apply it directly to the face first and then rub it in just like the face serum. And that is the 5 minute 4 step skincare routine that anyone can follow but is not a beginner one. And now some people like to apply a toner first to their skin before applying any other product after they wash it. And you can include that too in your skincare resume as it can prove to be really helpful especially for the people with acne prone and ingrown hair prone skin. But yeah that's it. Give this video a thumbs up and this channel a sub if you made it this far. The Alpha Army Discord server and Instagram are both linked in the description. With that being said, I'll see you around. Alpha.